This video is about types of reproduction. Now, generally in biology, there are two different categories for reproduction. There's a sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction. Asexual just means without sex. So the A just means without. So for sexual reproduction, you need two parents as opposed to just one. Also, gametes are involved. Gametes are sex cells like sperm and egg. And then with sexual reproduction, it provides a lot of genetic variety. But with asexual reproduction, the offspring are simply clones. They're genetically identical to their parents. So there are some pros and cons to both. One of the pros of a sexual reproduction is that increases variation by being different from the parents. That increased genetic uh, variety can sometimes be very helpful. With asexual reproduction, there's no variation and are very little adaptations. The con though to sexual reproduction is it costs a lot of energy, like not just uh, energy in uh, finding a mate, but also the process requires a lot of energy. Whereas asexual reproduction, the process is very fast and very easy. So for example, bacteria, which reproduce asexually, can um, multiply every 20 minutes. Their numbers can double. So take a look at this type of, of reproduction. You probably already guessed that it's asexual reproduction. That is, um, this hydra, which is an aquatic organism, is budding. So the cells, which are genetically identical, are budding into a new, smaller hydra. Now the key with budding is that whatever the parent is, is going to be larger than whatever the offspring is. So in the case of this, the parent, Hydra, is much larger than the offspring. If this were a single cell, they could also bud, and the difference is that the new cell will be smaller than the parent cell. So you might have guessed that pollination is going to be sexual reproduction. So in that case, the gametes, from the one flower are going to be transferred to the other. So there's going to increase some genetic variety. Uh, pollination is sexual. This is an example of asexual reproduction, as you've probably already guessed. Uh, regeneration, sometimes it's called fragmentation, where if you take a fragment, in this case of this little aquatic organism called planaria, uh, you cut it in pieces, the other pieces will grow back. And the pieces you cut off will also grow into new uh, planaria. Uh, starfish can reproduce in much the same way, by fragmentation. So that little piece of starfish can grow into a new starfish. And the starfish that lost that piece will grow that piece back. So again, uh, fragmentation. Asexual reproduction. Most animals are going to reproduce sexually. Now, that's not always the case. There are some animals that don't, but most animals reproduce sexually. So that's a sexual reproduction. There are some plants that reproduce asexually. In this case, the strawberry plant sends uh, runners. Those runners um, will have identical genetic material to the parent strawberry plant, and they can become new plants. So that's asexual reproduction. Uh, binary fission is another example of, as you probably guessed, asexual reproduction. So here this uh, single unicellular amoeba um, has divided into two daughter cells, which are going to be gen genetically identical to the parents. Now, typically, the process of mitosis is used to describe the cell division of eukaryotic cells, cells with a clear nucleus. Um, cells like bacteria that are prokaryotic, usually it's described as a binary fission. But either way, the parent cell divides and we get two new daughter cells. And again, it's typically descriptive of unicellular organisms. You probably guessed already uh, because most animals will reproduce uh, sexually. Now, there are some interesting cases of animals that reproduce asexually. Uh, for example, uh, lizards like Komodo dragons and turtles 
sometimes reproduced by parthenogenesis. Parthenogenesis is when an unfertilized egg will hatch into a genetically identical um, offspring. So occasionally, no sperm required, the egg itself will just grow into an offspring. Now that raises a lot of questions about the genetic material. Occasionally, the genetic material in that egg will be a complete set of genetic material. So you're not getting half from mom, half from dad. That egg has a complete set. But there are some cases when the egg only it has half the genetic material. It's haploid. only has half the genetic material and still develops into a lizard. And a lot of times it depends on the um, environmental conditions. But sometimes there are animals that will reproduce asexually. Um, and parthenogenesis is a great example of that. So I hope this helps a little with understanding different types of reproduction.